Good afternoon family. Today is the 18th year of April, which is Independence Day in Zimbabwe. We are heading to Chi Town just to see just to see what's happening in Chi Town. And it's been a long time a while since we've been to Chi Town. Today we are focusing Chi Town. Chi Town coming for you. <laughs> I'm on Sega Road, guys. Light industrial area. You can see Teleso head office over there. Alright, I'm on Sega Road. Sega Road. This is Sega Road. Teleso headquarters over here. Seke Road. Please subscribe to my channel GKZM. Follow me on GKZM on Instagram. GKZM1980 on TikTok. GKZM on Facebook. This is Metro Pitch to my right. To my right is Metro Metro Pitch. Eh? It's a wholesaler. Things owned by white people. They sell grocery. And this is Sunning Dale to my left. Sunning Dale of Makarat. Michelle Makarat. Sega Road. Take me to Chi Town! <laughs> Chitongwiza, Mushamkuru, with a population of about 1.4 million. The third largest city in Zimbabwe, Chitongwiza. This is Sega Road, guys. So I'm heading to Chi Town. Take me to Chitongwiza. Uh, the robot here, I think it was stolen. There's no robot. <laughs> uh, the, you know, in Zimbabwe, they still, you know, robots. Huh? This is a uh, Sega Road. There used to be a robot here, but we don't have it anymore. Let's go Sega Road. Zimbabwe has got lots and lots of safe stations. And the new names on in business as well. So this is Seke Road. We are now in Hetfield. Eh? Take a road, Kelvin Corner. Here we come. I can see Baba Tenda Bata Shayavar Papa got up over there. We'll come and see you, Baba Tenda. I'll go for a pay. Seke Road. So Chitungwiza, one of the biggest cities in Harare with almost 1.5 million people. Huh? The third largest city in Zimbabwe. The most populous. So uh, Chitungwiza, uh, I think in Chitungwiza, they need uh, a rail, a rail uh, sorry, a train that that goes to uh, to to uh, into city town. Uh, the population they got uh, they got lots and lots of people who work in town. So 
Chitungiza, maybe in the next five years they will have a train that will run to and fro. Harare, Chitown, Harare, Chitown. Very important, guys. They need a train, these guys. Let's hope in the next 10 years we'll have a train committing to Chitungwiza and the city center. And if you guys know, this is Maruta. Maruta shopping center. This is Maruta shopping center. Follow me on GKZ. If you guys can remember the famous, the famous stone which says Jesus. The famous stone, Jesus heaven. Chitungwiza. <laughs> Industries coming out on my left here. Some factories. Guys, they are there is lots and lots of development happening along Seke Road. So many factories are opening up. I've been here in a while. But I can see, you know, companies are building factories here along Sega Road. And there's another residential area which is over here. I don't know the name of the residential area. Over there. And that's airport to my left. Arara International Airport. To my left, there's Kowala meets Takashinga and Mombe. Ah, Mazano Shinga and gold. No, I don't transport a gold. Kowala. Now we are about to approach Mura uh, Chena. Mura Chena. Trek safe station here along Pura Chena. Hey, you can see there's a plane that was just took off over there. You can see it, a huh? big plane from Aran International Airport. That one there. I don't know where it's going, I don't know which airline it is, but I'm lucky to film you know that uh, aeroplane going up in the sky over there. On. My left, the, the, uh, you can see that fence that's the back of uh, Harare International Airport, and uh, that's where the runway starts. All these lights, that's where the runway starts, Harare International Airport. You see all those lights there. And the plane is about to land. Right, we are in Chi Town. Those who don't know Chi Town, it's called Chitungwiza. I grew up in Chitungwiza from grade one up to seven, form one up to form four. And this is uh, the waterworks of Chitungwiza. That's where they recycle the water, clean it. And uh, we are about to pass Unyan River, the famous Unyan River in Chita. That's Unyan River, guys. There's a dam called Arava Dam, and uh, this is a Unyan River. 
the farmers in Nyan River and they spill over there. The water is not spilling, huh? Let's go. I think we're about to get into St. Mary's, Sengeza. Welcome to Chi Town, Chitungwiza. The most popular city in Harare, Zimbabwe. Chitungwiza welcomes you. That's not driving then. This guy here with the wonder feet. This is St. Mary's police station, the famous St. Mary's police station. If you know now, you know. If you didn't know now, you know. There's leisure center over there to my left. Hey, the road is bad, yeah? You're not maintaining the, the road, yeah? Got full of potholes here. Yeah? It is what it is. We are in Chitungwiza. And that's St. Mary's over there. It's a guess of St. Mary's. I'm about to approach Chikwana Township. Those who know Chikwana. What Chikwana? You can see there's a lot of traffic. I mean, it must have an accident in front of us there. There's something which happened there, I can tell you right now. It should be an accident. Yeah, it's an accident, guys. Something went wrong here. Something went wrong here. There's an accident here on Zua garage it's a big accident here yeah? combi involved in an accident with the lorry let's hope we don't have casualties here yeah? it's sad it's not looking good guys that's an accident over there They're even breaking the car. Some people are trapped. There's somebody who's trapped over there. Ah, that's sad, guys. It's not looking good. Somebody's been trapped. Oh, my God. That's not good. Some people are trapped inside there. That's not looking good. And they're using an X so that they can free people here. I think there's one person who's trapped. It's not looking good. Big accident here. Somebody's being trapped. I think probably he's got broken bones and stuff like that. That's not good. Well, let's hope he is okay. That's Chitungwiza, guys. Anyway, we just witnessed an accident. We wanted to turn into Chikwana. Now we can't do it. This is Chikwana. Chikwana Township. It's a sad uh, event. It's a sad scene that we have seen. You know, you know, you become quiet when you see people trapped. When you see, I mean, an accident, it's not good at all. Anyway, let's hope the guy is okay. There's one guy who was in front of the combi. I think was trapped, but I think he will be okay. Let's hope you you won't have any casualties. Eh? Uh, roundabout and along Sega Road but they are not cutting the grass and the road is not being maintained lots of potholes here 
lots and lots of bottles. We are now in Chitungwiza. To my right, just in front of me, I think, we are passing Yatsime College. I thought it's still a two-way traffic. Yatsime College over there. Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is GK. Follow me on GKZ. Uh, GKZ. I can see some vendors here. They're selling vegetables. Vegetables, vegetables. There's a big business for vegetables here in Chitungwiza. This is uh, Chitungwiza. Should be Unit H or something. Yeah? Unit H. Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK, we are now in Chitungwiza, the biggest city in Zimbabwe, with a population of about 1.5 million, 1.4 million. Right, I'm turning left to show you where I used to go to school during my high school days. You see this guy here, he's trying, I don't know what he's trying to do. Right, so, we're turning right into this road. I don't know the name of the road here. But this is Unit H, guys. Unit H, and that's Unit B to my left. So let me show, show you where we used to go to school. My high school days. Second to high school. Those on, on, in diaspora, I think they know second to high school. This is second to high school. <laughs> I used to come to school here to do my form one to form four. at us get to high school. Let me come out and see whether things have changed here or not. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, guys. This is Unity H, and this is Seke Two High School. I used to uh, come here for schooling from form one. Form 1 to Form 4, Digita Richava Mukaka. Welcome, Seke 2 High School. Beautiful guys, I'm here at Seke 2 High School. I used to attend schooling here. This was my high school from Form 1 to Form 4. Seke 2 High School, so I'm getting into the administration office. This was the administration office. We used to pay school fees here. So let me pack and move around. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. Follow me on GK Zim. Today I've just visited my former high school on Independence Day. Second two high school. This is the administration. And this must be headmaster's uh, uh, track. So I used to attend schooling here. So uh, the security guys, uh, uh, security lady allowed me to come and see. Uh, this is, used to be our assembly point. We used to sit on this concrete, you know, listening to the headmaster speaking over there. So all the students used to sit here. On this assembly point, we used to call it assembly point, and this concrete they are still here. Can you believe it, guys? Those who can remember, we used to sit here, sing, and listen to the headmaster. Uh, you know, saying whatever he wanted to say, and that was his podium. Good day to you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. I've just visited my high school, second two high school. We used to sit here. On assembly point, listening to the headmaster, all the students were, used to sit according to classes. So I've just visited our school. This is nice, a good feeling. And that's the administration over there. Can you believe it? We used to sing and sit on these stoops, and they're still here. I think the students are still doing the same uh, thing. Huh? 
Come on, me on GKZ. GKZ. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. Uh, you know, this is you. Uh, I'm here at uh, old school, second to high school. We used to sit here singing uh, on a Monday, listening to the headmaster over there. I can't remember the songs that we used to sit. You know, these tubes here, they were memories, these concrete memories. A lot of students have sat on these concrete uh, stoops. Generations have come, generations have gone on these stoops here. It's amazing, huh? Eh? So get to high school. Peace! Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. Follow me on GK Zim. Today, I've visited my former high school. Second so two high school in Chitungwiza. And this used to be the library. I've got a photo for the library. I'll show you when I get home. This used to be a library. Robert Mugabe Youth Drug and Substance Abuse, a threat to Vision 2030. Seke High School ICT Lab was officially opened by the Minister of ITC, Postal Carrier Services. Honorable Dr. Jennifer Muswera, 21 April 2022. This is the lab. Let me show you my other uh, classroom that I used to love. That's the math room over there. And this used to be our, our classrooms. Room 8. And uh, this one for commercials. But I remember my classroom. I used to love that classroom over there. That was my classroom over there. I used to love this classroom here. Now it's math classroom, room six. <laughs> Things used to happen here in this. And remember room six. Room six. We used to walk on, on this pavement, you know, attending lessons. Pity, I've just visited the football pitch, the ground. Remember, you know, we used to play football here. And there's a lot of grass. I think they need to cut, cut the grass. It's still a uh, holiday. But this was uh, the famous football ground. Eh? That's like a two high school. A lot needs to be done on this high school. We need to uh, revamp it. We need to rebuild it. And this classroom were done in the 80s. Can you believe it? In the 80s, eh? All these in the 80s, and they're still standing, and they haven't, I mean, done uh, some more blocks. It's like a two high school. I remember, we used to do maths as form one on, the, uh, on that block over there on these uh, classrooms. Let me get in and see on the room 17, see what's happening here. Yeah, this used to be the inside of the classrooms. Eh? So we used to sit here. I hope, I mean, these tables, I think they've got the history, yeah? Hmm? So, this used to be our classrooms, guys. Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK, follow me on GK Zoom. I'm here in Chitungwiza, second to high school. This used to be, used to be one of our classrooms, eh? Boom, writing the exams here. Copy. Others who were good as well. <laughs> it was the norm. And that was the, the board. And also the blackboard. Second to high school. I think these tables here, they've seen a quite a lot. Huh? I think they've been here for a while, these tables here. These classroom tables and the chairs. And I'm glad they're saying, saying no to drug and substance abuse for good health over there. They're educating students not to take drugs. This was our classroom, guys, our classroom. You know, we came far, we used to walk. 
This one is the boat. Welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. Follow me on GK Zim. Today it's uh, the 18th of April, which is Independence Day in Zimbabwe. It's a holiday. And I decided to visit my old former high school, Segetu High School. You know, this high school made us still have what memories here. Yeah? Memories and memories here. Yeah. And a lot of generations have passed through this high school. I think we need to do something about this high school. Still standing. See these these stones. This building was built a long time ago with quality bricks. And they are still standing. And I remember we used to go to the technical department over there. Right, we used to do woodwork, metal work on those two blocks over there. That's where you, we used to do all the woodwork, metal work over there. I used to love metal work. This is second to high school, guys. I used to attend school here in Stungwiza. So I decided to visit it and see what's happening. The school is still standing. And this, uh, the important thing is, you know, the bricks that built this school, they're still standing and they're still looking good. So a lot needs to be done in terms of looking after the school anyway. But it is what it is. The blocks are still standing. I'm here on the corridor. It is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on GKZM. GKZM to the world. Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. I'm just coming out of my former high school, Sega 2 High School. I'm happy. I've seen the school. It's still standing. A lot of uh, young people are coming out of this school, generation after generation, Form 1 to Form 4. And I'm coming out of the schoolyard. It's been a good day. Brings a lot of memories, a lot of students that have passed through this school. We thank God for this school. Educated a lot of people. Chibuku Stadium over there. That's Chibuku Stadium, guys. Huh? In Chitungiza. That's Chibuku Stadium. I think there's something happening there. There is football being played over there. This is Chitungiza, guys. Chitungiza Unit H. Uh, Unit H. I mean, uh, a lot of our postal used to stay here. You can see all the uh, artworks like they used to come on Gomo. Uh, Madishi and stuff like that. There's still history about this uh, residential area, apostory residential area in Unity Edge. Hey, and a lot of uh, houses are being built on wetlands. Huh? This used to be wetland. Uh, I can see houses again, houses and houses. People are just building and building in, on, on, wetland, on wetlands. Huh? Now there's houses and houses over here. That's crazy. Hmm? Houses and houses over here. It's a church over there. It's called Potter's Ministry International. Ah. Guys, on the wetlands, there are houses. <laughs> They've done houses, guys. It's unbelievable. Wetland, 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 now the houses, 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 houses. Guys, that's Unit A in Chitungwiza. You know, Chitungwiza, uh, they've got, uh, got lots and lots of, uh, what do you call, residential areas from Unit A, B, C, and D. Uh, all these are residential areas. No, they took what is the, uh, the uh, what do you call the alphabetical uh, sequence to name residential area from A to Z. So this is 
Unit A. You know, we used to walk when we were kids, when we were young, we used to walk along this road here. And now this new generation again still doing the same thing. So <laughs> all the people to say Ushe Matsuro and uh, and also generation comes, generation goes. So there's a new breed of Ama 2000, Ama 90s walking on these streets of Unity A. Right, this is Chinambiri Primary School. That's where I went for my grade one to seven. So let me turn left. See that sign over there? It says Chinambiri Primary School. Let's go and see. Roads are bad, eh? No more roads here. So, guys, we I used to attend uh, primary. Yeah, yeah. Often, guys, now we're getting into Chinambiri, Chinambiri Primary School. I used to attend a primary school here in Chitungwiza. So, we just took a visit see what's happening in Shitungwiza and that's Chinambiri in unit A. I think they are doing they are building what do you call a Jura or something huh? yeah I think so this is Chinambiri primary school I don't know why they used to call it Chinambiri maybe Yanga in Mbiri or something that's Chinambiri primary school over there welcome well, guys welcome to my channel my name is GK this is Chinambiri primary school I used to attend school here as a primary school boy from grade 1 to 7 so we used to come here for assembly this used to be the assembly point for all the grade 1 to 7 so you can see admin block classroom over there garden libraries playgrounds this boho a lot have changed here so we used to come here and stand here as our assembly point on a Monday, this area here. So the headmaster used to stand here and speak to us. Wow, it's still happening here. So this used to be the assembly point from grade 1 to 7. And then this used to be the administration block. That's Chinambiri School. So I attended this school from grade 1 to 7. Uh, and my sister as well, my late sister used to attend this school as well, uh, from grade 7. So this is block 1. All the, I remember we used to run around all these rooms, from room 20 to room 21, on block 1, and room 19, when we were young. Chinambiri, primary school. I don't know why they used to call it Chinambiri, maybe Yanga in Chinambiri, Chinanga Nambiri, and room 17. And those were the toilets. Wow. So I remember, you know, when I was in form for grade one, I used to walk on this pavement, going to those, to block, is this block two? Block two. And uh, we've got block three, I think for grade one, grade one, grade two, grade three, and then grade four. So the block four, that's where we used to attend as grade ones. You know, moving around on, the, on all these corridors, on all these pavements. And these pavements have seen quite a lot of generation come, generation going. A lot of students have passed through these pavement and they're still standing this, this used to be my uh, the block four where I used to attend grade one on block four can't remember the name of our teacher I can't remember the I need to remember the name of our teacher right this used to be our toilets 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 over there so it brings memories as somebody who was still seven years attending primary school from grade one to seven, 
in Chitungwiza. Good afternoon, guys. I'm here in Chitungwiza, Chinembiri Primary School, where I, I attended my grade one to seven here at this school. So I remember we used to jump around, you know, walk uh, on these grounds, you know, from grade one to seven, and uh, a lot of things used to happen here. So the school is now still standing in Chitungwiza, and I'm just going to the football field. And I'll tell you a story of what happened here on this football ground. Here, in, yeah, here at Chinambiri Primary School. So this used to be the, 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 the football ground. That way we used to run, uh, you know, play football, uh, you know, do all sorts. And uh, I think it needs maintenance, maintenance as well. So I'll tell you what happened. There's a story behind that goal post over there. Something happened when I was in grade, I think grade three or four. So, you know, I used to love football. So when I come here to the grounds, we used to come and play football here. And on this very post, this goal post, you know, I used to like to be a goalkeeper. So what happened is, we had a guy, uh, he used to be a good footballer. So I was waiting to catch the ball here. So all of a sudden the ball came and then it hit me. It hit me on my hand and I had a broken hand. I had to be taken to a lot of hospital, which is about 30 k's from here, Kugomo and get my hand, you know, uh, uh, treated, and I had a plaster. This happened on this goalpost here. Can you believe it, guys? I'm here on the very goalpost. Uh, remember, I had an injury here. Uh, you know, uh, I used to like football. I used to be a good goalkeeper. And then someone hit the ball from over there, and then it hit my hand here. I think this is the end. Ah, this is one. This one here. Yeah. And I had a broken hand. And then I, I had to be taken to Arara Hospital. And uh, the doctors looked after me. And they mended my, my hand. I had a plaster on this very spot. These are memories, guys. These are memories. This goalpost has got memories. Right, uh, we, you know, I'm here at Chinambiri Primary School, uh, the school that made me to be where I am from grade one to seven. So it brings back memories, uh, lots and lots of memories as a grade one and as a grade seven student. We used to use that gate over there coming from Unit G. We used to stay in Unit G, G near Makoni shopping center. So this used to be the administration block over there. And that's the library over there. Admin block over there. So here we used to have uh, assembly point where the students, all the students from grade one to seven, they used to come and sit here and listen to the headmaster. We've got stories, lots and lots of stories which happened here on the assembly point with the headmaster. Can't remember the name of the headmaster, but he used to be a good guy. Anyway, let's hope all these guys are still alive. Peace, Chinambira High School, signing out, GK. Follow me on GK Zen. Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK, so you know, I just came out of uh, Chinambiri Primary School. So I was looking for the students, the old students, who used to attend this school. So I've seen one of the old students. He used to attend this school uh, from 1970. 19, 1975. 75. So good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. Follow me on GKZM, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. 
So, you know, I've just came out of uh, my former primary school called Chinembiri Primary School. So, you know, when I came out, uh, there's some houses which are opposite to the primary school. So I happened to meet one of the former students. Uh, what's your name? Dennis. Sir? Jan. Dennis. Jan. Ja? Jan. Jani. I think probably you guys you remember him. Dennis uh, Jani. He used yeah. to attend this school in the in the 1970s. 1976. 76. Yeah. He started grade one. Uh, not not grade one. Grade five. Grade five. 76. Yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> and he's still here, yeah. staying here, just opposite the school. Yeah. So uh, so let's come and support our school. Let's build it up. A lot of generations have come out of this school from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and now we are in the 2000. I'm a 2000. So, you know, please, let's come and support uh, our school. Let's build it up. Let's do whatever we can. So, what do you want to say to my subscriber? Um, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, we must see, uh, come together and support this school because. Uh, uh, we have been for what we are, we are today is because of because of uh, this primary school. This primary school, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like uh, we, I still remember Mr. Master, Mr. Mr. Chukore. Chukore. Was if you, if you guys can remember, Mr. Chukore, <laughs> short guy, yeah. a very short guy who used to be. I yes. mean. Uh, uh, brown in complexion. Yeah, and he was driving a 404. Yeah, a 404 Fusion, Fusion and he used <laughs> to stay in Hetfield there. I remember yeah, sure. that guy there. Uh, wow, he remembers yes. Mr. Chikore. Mm. Mr. Chikore, mm. wherever you are, All what right. you did to Chinembi School, God bless yes, you. Yes. The school, I'm glad, is still standing. Yeah. I visited the school, it's still standing. Yes. Peace. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Happy Independence. <laughs> so, as we were talking, I remember in grade one, uh, we used to have. Uh, our grade one teacher called Mrs. Machoba. Machoba. Mrs. Machoba, if you are still alive, I've, I've come to Chinembiri Primary School to see in our old school. Mm -hmm. uh, God bless you. You did quite a lot, I mean, yes. teaching, you know, the next generation to the next generation. Mm -hmm. A lot of grade one, they passed through your hands, I remember. Yes. Mrs. Machoba, we love you. Right. Peace. And who else again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miss Muswe. Miss Muswe, I don't remember her. Yeah. She used to be one of the yeah. teachers as well. Yeah, Mr. Mafanta. Mr. Mafanta. Uh, Mr. Chukoka. Mr. Chukoka, you know, he remembers yeah. them. Yeah, I can't even remember them. <laughs> but yeah. I remember Miss Machoba. Mm. She mm. used to be my, my grade uh, one uh, mm. uh, 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 teacher. Right. Right, so uh, good, good to meet you. Uh, God bless you. Right. Happy Independence. Uh, sure, Let's sure, hope all the best for Chinembiri Primary sure, School. Yeah, Let's sure, hope yeah, a lot of students there. I mean, yeah. they'll pass through this school. Mm, mm. God bless you. That's Cheers. Sharp.